After 40 years of developing all over the world, Iron Man is still fairly fresh in Vietnam. In Da Nang, from only one day event that was held in 2015, three years later, the event has been expanded to a multi-day sport festival with many competing categories, as well as plenty of activities for the family to join throughout the weekend, including Iron Kids, Sunrise Sprint, as well as the newborn's run out. I think the biggest piece of advice I would give is start small. Just think of a little swim, a little bike, and a little run, but separately. I think it's always good to start with something achievable, so make sure you're enjoying the sport. They do have that sprint distance event so that it can encourage people to get started in the sport, and maybe one day they'll participate in the 70.3 distance. Good morning, Vietnam! We're getting ready for the sprint, sprint race. The sprint, I think it's great. Vietnam Ironman like a ladder. The Vietnamese athlete can work on certain thing and when they see other athletes in the world, I think it's good for them. So the sprint is great. It's absolutely great. No clouds, no rain. Perfect. Team Blast it. Blast it. 10 minutes to start. Triathlon is an individual sport, but if you train by yourself, you wouldn't know how to train for it, and uh, you wouldn't enjoy it that much. So I used to know every single triathlete in Vietnam probably on two hands. Now there's so many. I'm so excited to see them, but there's many that I don't know that are coming into the sport and continue to bring others into the sport. When I started triathlon, I didn't really know anyone. Pretty soon I was making friends. You know, I met my wife through a triathlon camp and it's very easy to make friends and come together because you're going through these training sessions together, you suffer together and you come out the other side and I think you've got to bond with whoever you've been suffering with and training with. We have about 200 individual athletes in the sprint today and several relay teams as well. Be greater together. Oh yes, a beautiful day, beautiful day in Da Nang, Vietnam. Here we go. Oh, nice swim, nice swim. First woman out of the water relay. Well done, well done on a rough swim course. But you did it coming out of the water now. Look at the smiles. <laughs> Amazing job on that swim course. Cộng đồng thì tôi thấy càng ngày càng phát triển và có càng ngày càng nhiều câu lạc bộ để trao đổi tập luyện. Thì gần đây thì tôi có tham dự một cái training camp của bên Hà Nội Triathlon Club. Thì rất là vui và các bạn tổ chức rất chuyên nghiệp. Như tôi lần đầu tôi phải lên mạng tôi tìm sách tôi đọc mất một thời gian. Bây giờ có thể là trao đổi lẫn nhau và kiến thức truyền đạt trực tiếp cho nhau thì tôi thấy rất là vui vì cái điều đấy. I guess one of the biggest differences is that each year our participant numbers are getting more. So we have to make sure that all the facilities that we offer, the size of the course, the size of transition, that it's suitable for our increased numbers. So to make sure that everyone, year on year, the more people that we get, still have the same great experience. Cách đây 3 năm, hầu như không tìm được một cái cửa hàng xe đạp ba môn phối hợp, không tìm được một cái cửa hàng thể thao nào mà có bán được những cái dụng cụ, những cái thiết bị, thực phẩm để phục vụ cho cái việc tập luyện cũng giống như thi đấu. Four short years later. You can find all of that. You bring a credit card. Someone was saying, you go to our expo, you can get everything. Thể hiện được cái việc mà một cái sự kiện, một cái nền tảng Ironman không chỉ đơn thuần là một sự kiện không, mà nó tác động và xây dựng một cái nền tảng cho nhiều các doanh nghiệp khác cùng phát triển mình. This year, the fourth edition of Techcom Bank Ironman 70.3 Vietnam 2018 with the message, Be Greater Together, is attracted a record number of participants, with more than 1,600 athletes from 56 different countries. Incredibly, the number of Vietnamese athletes has increased by more than 10 times, compared to the first year event which was held in 2015, proving the attraction of the race to the Vietnamese, who were big fans of top-notch sport increasingly challenging endurance strength and overcoming obstacles. 
the relay category attracted over 180 teams, taking turns to conquer swimming, cycling, and running. When we first started, we were actually using one of the car parks um, within the Hyatt ground. For the following year, when the number was increasing and we wanted to add something a little bit special, we moved to uh, a vacant property next door, which is right on the beach side. So not only do we have um, an extended and a better facility for the transition, competitors and participants also get beautiful sea and beach views as they're going through transition one and transition two. So it really adds something special. To, um, to what is, I think, already a unique event. Everything that happens within the race course is ultimately my call. So there's a lot of people, a lot of involvement, and a lot of thought, and a lot of planning. Nói chung thực sự mà nói thì cái sự kiện không thể diễn ra nếu mà không có tình nguyện viên. Tất cả những cái công việc cần volunteer thì nó vẫn giữ nguyên. Nhưng mà là do số lượng vận động viên tăng lên thì số lượng tình nguyện viên phải tăng theo. Bất cứ một khâu nào về tổ chức của sự kiện đều có mặt tình nguyện viên ở trong đó hết. Thousand different volunteers. All our volunteers and the policemen have been on the road since 6 a.m. In many ways they're an Iron Man too because they're out there for eight, nine hours in the sun. So it's a big thank you to every one of them and their support is highly needed, appreciated, and hopefully they, we treat them well so they come back and do it again next year. Tôi cũng đang build up một cái volunteer program để cho những bạn mà tình nguyện viên quay lại đó thì sẽ có những cái um, ưu đãi đặc biệt hoặc là những uh, cái career path cho những bạn mà thích về um, tổ chức sự kiện thể thao. Now I'm connecting with the volunteer department in Vietnam to see, to try to help them with any support that they need. So that's my main thing right now. So since Vietnam opened in 2015, and I thought, that's great. I knew that the first race, they need a lot of support. And I thought, perfect, I'm going to do that. And I, I decided to come here. This is such a young sport for the country. Like, Nobody knew what triathlon is. I've traveled through other countries and I say I come home for this and nobody knew. So I thought I have to come back here every year and I will come back as long as I can race. The second edition of the Sunrise Sprint on Saturday, May 12, 2018 offers a 750 meter swim, 20 kilometer bike and 5 kilometer run that features a stunning beachfront finish. Whether you are a beginner who wants to immerse yourself into triathlon racing for the first time, a tri-enthusiast focusing on speed, or getting back into the sport, or a glutton for punishment, looking to test yourself with a full race weekend, the Sunrise Sprint is made to order. The man's champion in the sprint race. Come on, shake it off, Mikhail Bocek, Slovakia! Second place, Dominic Edmondson. Watching some people this morning participate and really pushing themselves to the limit, that experience is what I think is, is very transformative. It's amazing to see. I hope to see it continue to grow. Even if you have a good race or a bad race, there's always um, great things to take away from the race. And I think just, just looking forward to the next thing and just enjoying the process as you go. Just a little bit more. Go, go, go. Into the finish line. Sunrise Sprint here. Hydration is a key element that cannot be overlooked by athletes during a triathlon. Professional athletes and coach Dimitri Lee Duke host a hydration clinic in Da Nang during race week. She discusses the fundamentals of hydration and performs a sweat test for a limited number of athletes. This medical test will lead to a personalized hydration strategy that will allow you to perform at your best during training and racing. Meanwhile, in the ballroom, 15 times Ironman champion Belinda Granger and Olympic and Hall of Fame coach Lance Watson bring their wisdom and advice on race strategy. I can remember several times, in fact, in fact the, that, that very first race I had here, 
I had a good old pity party at about the 10 kilometer mark on the run. I allowed my mind, kept telling me, you're having a terrible race, you feel like crap, you look like crap, this is just a joke, I'm gonna pull out, this is the last time ever. Instead of me thinking, saying stop, feel sorry for yourself, you are lucky to be in such a beautiful country, doing what you love, because often when you are low on calories, that's when this starts playing tricks. So I will stand in that aid station, I'll regroup, and I'll start the race again fresh from there. What I really like to encourage you to do is to reflect on your reasons for being here. And there's gonna be some point, kind of be like looking within yourself and going, you know, what the heck am I doing here? <laughs> Why am I out here? This is hard. <laughs> and I think the really important thing, no matter what happens tomorrow, we may wake up and we have no surf. Fantastic. But if we wake up tomorrow and we have six foot waves, you're all prepared for it. So before you go to bed tonight, think about all the different scenarios that could occur tomorrow and make sure you are prepared for each and every one. So I came a little bit early for the race because I knew I was coming from colder climates in the United States and I needed to get ready for the heat. Your body adapts quite quickly. Getting myself into the best possible shape I can be. Uh, I've been putting a lot of effort in uh, on my running last year, but then uh, this year I did prepare pretty well. I have been preparing myself pretty well with hydration, not to make myself dehydrated. And I keep drinking water from day to day and I'm ready for the next race. I wouldn't say I've trained specifically for the heat of this race. Training every day across the swim, bike and run and mixing it up. Working on all the little things, nutrition, training, working hard and mentally as well. But also just gaining a little bit of confidence um, and just looking forward to the race. So still just enjoying myself and enjoying the journey. If you enjoy it, have a smile on your face, you're going to have a good race. Are you ready, Vietnam? I'm ready for Iron Man. That means a lot to me. If you don't love the pain, you wouldn't continue with that. Iron Man, a good lifestyle. He sees the finish line. On May 12, 2019, Da Nang, Vietnam is excited to host the 2019 Techcom Bank Ironman 70.3 Asia Pacific Championship. Regular registration starts from 1 October 2018 and ends at 31 March 2019. Don't miss it. Be greater together.